Hi, my name is Phil Bradley and welcome to another video in my series supporting my book Social Media for Creative Libraries. In this video I'll be looking at how you can create great presentations without using PowerPoint. I'm going to start again using the Symbaloo start page that I've created. And before we look at things that are other than PowerPoint, there's a really nice web page that you can go to. I'll add in the URL for this on awesome things that you can do with PowerPoint. I won't go through all of these in any kind of detail because uh, the presentation is out there, but the kind of things that you can think of would be animations or motion paths for images or words that you've got emphasizing your text, having bouncing balls, narrating over slides, uh, using PowerPoint as a blank template for building video content, embedding YouTube videos or GIFs, creating templates or Excel worksheets, for example. So there are plenty of things that you can do with PowerPoint and I would really recommend that you spend a little bit of time just exploring what some of those things actually are. However, let's go on and look at some alternatives. The first alternative that I would like to look at is to make use of Prezi. Prezi is a tool that you may well already have come across. If you haven't, you shortly will do. I'm using a Prezi put together by my friend and colleague Ned Potter. And this is the Prezi that's been mentioned in the book itself. The reason that Prezi is a good tool you can pretty much see for yourself. Because what it's going to do for us is it's going to allow us to look at different elements of the presentation in a rather different manner. And as you can see, we've now looked overall at um, Ned's presentation. And we can then start to zoom in to see exactly what it is that he wants to say. It's a very nice tool and if you use it sensibly, as Ned obviously does, then you are able to go through that presentation without making your audience feel really seasick. Um, if you are a bit too enthusiastic, you may well find that, unfortunately, people do tend to get a little bit green when they're looking at what you've done because it can move around so much that they do, as I say, end up feeling seasick. So, pretty good one to have a look at. Um, we've got another one uh, which is called Novio, and this, again, it, it's, it's taking us back a little bit to PowerPoint, but what it's allowing me to do here is I can record a video that goes along with the PowerPoint that I've got. I can zoom uh, one or the other, so I can make one bigger and the other one smaller if I wish to. Um, I can then start the presentation. Hi, my name's Phil Bradley and I'm really sorry that I can't and you can see the presentation, you can see the person giving it, and it's not the same as physically being at a presentation or giving a presentation um, at a particular site, but it's an alternative that you've got. Slide Bean is another alternative for you, and the way that this one works is it's a slightly different way of presenting the content that you want. And there you go. It's, it's attractive, it's fun, it's a different approach that you can take. And it's still using the same basic principles of having a series of slides or images and then going through them in a sequential format. We have a thing called My Pick Pals. And here's one with me and my dog Rusty. And again, what this slideshow is doing is it's providing me with access to the images that I've got that I want to share with people in a reasonably interesting method of cut presentations, cut slides like that. A great if you've got images um, or if you've got a PowerPoint type slides and presentations that you want to give, 
you might decide to have a look at my pig pals. Slides is another example. The way that slides works is that you can go through a presentation in a non-linear fashion. So I've just used some examples of some photographs that I've taken. So you can see the cars that I have created, car pictures. And if you look down in this bottom right hand corner, I can now go back. I can go forward and I can presentation as I wish to. So to go through a presentation in any kind of format that I want to, as long as I can remember what my slides are and where my slides are, I can decide what I want to go to next. Another alternative here is Kizoa. And this one again allows you to go through um, a presentation that you've got or first that you've created, for example, to show to other people. And you can go through in a timed fashion or you can choose to go forward at your own speed. So there's a few of the images that I have created. Another favourite of mine is one that's called Animoto. Animoto allows me to take a series of images or words and create a presentation with those. I can also add in my own music or I can use some of their music in the background as well. So here again is another example that I created last year for the... Um, so. This is Animoto. The reason that I like it is that you can add in a number of pictures or text that you wish to. You can add in your own sound or you can use um, sound files that they have produced and it will put together a very professional looking presentation for you. So here's a brief example that I've done. It's 30 seconds long. That's the longest that you can have with the free version, but you can take out a subscription to have uh, as many of these as you would like. And it's at a fairly cheap price. I think the last time I looked, it was about five pounds. So that gives you a, a very brief indication. Um, all that I had to do was to provide the images in the order that I wanted and Animoto did the rest for me. This one's called Hey Q Deck, and it's an interesting product in that you can add in any images that you wish and what Hey Q Deck will do is it will give you some uh, suggested words that you can add. Next up is a product called the Hey Q Deck. The way that this one works is that you can add in some words for your presentation and the package will then suggest a variety of images that you might decide to use as backgrounds for them. They really are interesting images that you've got and they really will sparkle up any kind of presentation that you have. You can choose where you want the text to go. And it's great if you're the kind of person that likes presenting using images or pie charts, for example. Heiku Deck is a really good product for that. Another of my favorites is one that's called Powtoon. And the way that Powtoon works is it provides you with the option of having some animation and some cartoon characters.
You can add in transitions as you wish to. You can add in more content as you need to. And it's a really nice, fun tool. As you can see, it makes a slight difference to the way in which presentations work. You can create free uh, presentations with Powtoon, but they do also have a commercial version available to you as well. Finally, I'm looking at Magista. As you can see with this one, it takes straightforward images, but it will also allow you to add in video as well and cuts all of it together. So that's a few of the different tools that are available to you when you're putting your presentations together. Um, I'm not going to knock PowerPoint too much because it's still a fantastic resource but if you'd like to do something a little bit different there are a few examples that uh, you might want to spend some time playing around with. So I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.